Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim aka the Booker Harlot because I love all things Booker Prize related. Now I have read the shortlist and I'm moving on to read the final uh, few books of the long list um, that I haven't gotten to yet and the winner is going to be announced in just a couple of days so that's extremely exciting. So for this reading vlog I am going to read How to Build a Boat by Elaine Feeney. She is a new to me author, so I'm very excited to get going on this book. And while I am reading, I will leave you with some shots of my favorite things from uh, Life on the Lake in Canada. <music> So I'm halfway through the book and this is a very interesting read. So let's talk about the plot. So this is set in Ireland. He, the main character is Jamie who is a 13 year old boy who is on the spectrum um, and it's mainly told in the first person but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, it is about uh, Jamie and his very young father. Now when Jamie was born um, he had teenage parents and his mother, Noelle, died just after childbirth. So he has only seen his mother through this one image and it's a little video clip of her uh, swimming competitively. So um, Jamie's father is a very young dad and this is about Jamie who goes to school for the first time in a Catholic school in Ireland um, and uh, two characters that come into his life. So there's a teacher, Tess, and there's a wood woodworking teacher, Mr. Foley. And they both come into his life, and, but they are plagued um, with secrets and problems as well. This is a lot about the loss of motherhood and um, get into that in a second. So Jamie, having seen his mother only through this one video clip, wants to build a, a perpetual motion time machine so he can go back in time and meet her. Am I boring you, honey? Yes, I think I am. Um, all right, so let's talk about the structure. There are 29 chapters with a prologue and an epilogue. Uh, it takes place over the course of a couple months. Um, and the interesting thing about this, and I didn't, catch on to it, this is how good Elaine Feeney is, I didn't catch on to it until I was about halfway through, is that the story is told in first person by Jamie, but only when Jamie is in his head. After that, when the other characters are around or if there's somebody with Jamie, it normally goes to third person. Now, the pros when Jamie is in his head uh, there is often no punctuation, and that is very reflective of the level of his anxiety. And when he is able to navigate the, the world and his environment, there is punctuation. So um, that's very interesting done, interestingly done. Now, the themes in this book so far, as I said, it's about the, moss, the loss of motherhood, what it means to be a mother, and Tess... Uh, who is one of the teachers who um, helps Jamie, but I think Jamie really helps her, uh, is going through IVF and is um, conflicted about whether or not she wants to be a mother. It is about bullying because Jamie certainly um, encounters that as soon as he enters the Catholic school, uh, which really is no surprise for someone who is different, uh, which is a shame. It's about friendship and the unexpected community that can follow with that. Um, and I thought it was really interesting that Elaine uh, often gives little nods to writers. And one of the authors is uh, the uh, Canadian icon, uh, Margaret Atwood. So 
I would love to know why she did that, but I'm glad she did. Uh, another theme is also uh, loneliness and the toll it can take on you. So I'm going to keep reading and finish the book, and I will leave you with some of my favorite things. So I finished reading the book and it really goes to some interesting places. Uh, no um, spoilers, but a lot of the secrets of the um, sub-characters, I guess you would say, of Tess and Mr. Foley and even the dad are revealed. Um, and she makes a very interesting choice in terms of prose, which I thought was really well done. So in the beginning of the book, Jamie, when he's experiencing anxiety, there's often no punctuation. And when the other characters are experiencing anxiety, she, in the la latter part of this book, transfers that to them. And I think that that's really consistent and very well done and effective. One of the things that's revealed in the end is that, and I don't think this is really a spoiler, but um, it's revealed that the year is 2019 and it ends at Christmas. Um, and for characters that are highly anxious and in which their lives are imploding, you know that 2020 is not going to be a better year for them. Um, so that just adds to the anxiety of the book. Um, you also learn Mr. Foley's history right at the very end. And I really wish that there was more of his character um, in this book. The theme is definitely following your passions versus societal expectations. Everything, every single character in this book encounters that, even the ones that only make brief uh, appearances. And um, the epilogue. The epilogue is absolutely stunning. I reread it a couple of times because it was worth rereading. And while I think that is brilliant and I love that level of writing it's very disappointing to me that the whole book wasn't written in the way that the epilogue was so I would recommend this book I'm glad that it came into my life I will definitely read uh, Elaine again and I would recommend it to you and make sure you get to the end because the end is worth it and on a side note, um, I imported this from the UK. This is the UK edition, and it has a lovely co cover. Um, and the Canadian edition just came out. And I, I, you know, if you've watched me before, you know I'm obsessed with covers. And look at that. I mean, the two in comparison, I, I wouldn't gravitate towards this book. So I'm really glad that I bought this one. And in the future, I will be uh, coming out with a best book covers of 2023, as well as a video on UK covers versus Canadian ones. And please join me uh, on Sunday for a live reaction to the Booker Prize winner. So that's been a long time coming, and I can't wait to find out who's won. I also will do be doing a prediction uh, video in... Uh, couple of hours actually. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you spending your time with me. Please like and subscribe and comment in the description below. Are you going to be watching the Booker Ceremony? Have you read How to Build a Boat and how do you feel about it? So I will leave you with some shots of life on the lake and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.